Today, we produce about 400 million tons of plastic waste every year. By 2060, annual production of fossil fuel-based plastics is set to top 1.2 billion tons, while waste will exceed 1 billion tons. Every June 5th marks World Environment Day. This year's theme is Beat Plastic Pollution. Plastic waste worsens existing environmental problems and is harmful to human bodies. Let's dig into the dangers of plastics in this episode of Tech Breakdown. Plastic takes anywhere from 20 to 500 years to decompose depending on the material structure and environmental factors such as sunlight exposure. We are well aware of the fact that plastic is harmful to the environment. It can alter habitats and natural processes, reducing ecosystems' ability to adapt to climate change. It threatens wildlife and spreads toxins. But do you know that plastic can also find its way back into your own body? Studies in recent years have shown that plastics are being found within human bodies, where they can seriously impair our health. A study published in April found particles of plastic present in mice brains just two hours after the mice ingested drinking water containing plastic. This means that plastic particles are capable of breaching the brain-blood barrier, a network of blood vessels and tissue that protects the brain from toxins and pathogens. In the brain, plastic particles could increase the risk of inflammation, neurological disorders, or even neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. In another study last year, scientists discovered microplastics in human blood for the first time, warning that the particles could also be making their way into our internal organs. In this study, half of the blood samples showed traces of pet plastics which are widely used to make drinking bottles. More than a third of the samples also found polystyrene particles, which is used in disposable food containers and many other products. Besides the brain and blood, plastic has also managed to infiltrate other parts of the human body, including our organs, placentas, breast milk, and gastrointestinal systems. Governments and businesses have been taking steps to reduce the use of plastics and tackle plastic pollution. As individuals, we can also make contributions in our daily lives. Here are some tips you can follow to reduce plastic use. Number one, avoid single-use plastics, such as spoons, forks, and straws. Number two, bring a reusable bag when you go shopping. Number three, buy less chewing gum since it contains plastics. Number four, recycle plastic you use every day, like bottles, bags, containers, and more. Let's start from today and make the earth greener and more sustainable together.